This is um, another video on mass storage or um, really auxiliary storage. Some people say it's secondary storage and we know auxiliary storage is a place we put stuff that we're not using now. We want to use it for later on. And when we think of mass storage, we think of magnetic type of storage, which is both magnetic tape and magnetic disc. We think of optical storage, CDs and DVDs. We think of flash memory, which is flash drives and solid state devices. Yes, a solid state device is actually made of flash memory. So what can I tell you about mass storage? Well, it's lower cost storage. It doesn't cost as much as main memory. It's much slower access than what main memory is, much slower access. And in some cases, you can actually remove the storage medium from the computer. Any of your flash drives or jump drives, you can plug in and uh, take out of your computer. And I even have an external hard drive that I can plug in and then remove from the computer. OK, when you think of magnetic storage, most people think of magnetic disk or your hard drives. But I want to make sure that we realize that in the old days, we used to have magnetic disk, or um, we used to have floppy, floppy disk, which were uh, basically disks that stored data magnetically. And the old three and a half inch floppy disk had 80 tracks, 80 circular recording areas called tracks, in which we stored data. And each surface was broken up into 18 sectors, 18 slices of pie, so to speak, and on each sector, we had a density level where we could store 512 bytes per sector. Now, if you take 512 bytes and you multiply it by 18, you get over 9,000 bytes on a track. And if you take 9,000 and multiply it by 80 tracks, you get over 737,000 bytes on a disk surface. And since we have two disk surfaces, we actually could store on an old three and a half inch floppy 1.44 megabytes. Now that was great in the old days when most of our files were text files, but as we started to evolve into the world of sound and pictures and video and things like that, uh, floppy disk just wasn't going to cut it. Um, so a hard drive stores data magnetically, but a hard drive really is, say, three metal disks. Okay, all lined up, one right above the other. And each of these disks has a recording surface that we would use. And each of these disks actually has its own read-write head and access arm that accesses, that goes in and out over the disk, disk surface. Now, we can store a lot more data on a hard drive, obviously, than we can a floppy. But hard drives actually use, in some cases, a more efficient way to store data. They actually have what we call zoned bit recording. And what they do is they take several adjacent tracks and they kind of group them together into a zone. And zones at the outer layer of a surface of a disk, of a hard disk, zones at the outer layer would have more sectors than the zones at the next inner layer. And because they would have more sectors, you could actually store more data. So this is sort of a more efficient way to store data on a hard drive. Uh, that certainly didn't take place on your old floppies. The, the sector in the outer track of a hard drive contain the same amount of data as an as a sector on an inner track so it wasn't it wasn't the most efficient way to store data um, okay so as we continue on this discussion if you want to talk about measurements um, or how do you evaluate a hard disk you would talk about seek time that's the time it takes to move a read write head from one track to another you would talk about rotation delay or latency time, which is basically one half the time it takes for a disk to make a complete rotation. And then access time is actually the sum of seek time uh, and rotation delay. Also, the transfer rate is the rate at which data can be transferred to and from a disk. 
Okay, now, if we want to store data on a hard drive, okay, uh, and we want to compare that to storing data on some kind of electronic circuitry device, like an SSD device, the hard drive is much slower. The hard drive will have a tendency also to break down because it has moving parts. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that uh, uh, in, our next, in our next video when we talk about flash memory. So another point I wanted to make is uh, magnetic storage today is certain types of magnetic storage are used a little bit less today. And that would be your magnetic tape. Magnetic tape today is only used for backup. Uh, and it's used when you want to take the contents of your tape drive and dump it maybe on a hard drive. If you want to, uh, maybe you had a hard drive failure, you need to get a new hard drive and you want to replace it. But then you could use magnetic tape, okay, um, to actually be a backup and then dump it all on your new hard drive. Okay, in the next video I want to talk about optical systems um, and some flash memory.